celebrate books. Celebrate the freedom to read by reading. I am going to read from Fahrenheit 451. We have everything we need to be happy, but we aren't happy. Something's missing. I looked around. The only thing I positively knew was gone was the books I'd burned in 10 or 12 years. So I thought books might help. You're a hopeless romantic, said Faber. It would be funny if it were not serious. It's not books you need. It's some of the things that once were in books. The same things could be in the parlor families today. The same infinite detail and awareness could be projected through the radios and TVs, but are not. No, no, it's not books at all you are looking for. Take it where you can find it. In old phonograph records, old motion pictures, and in old friends. Look for it in nature and look for it in yourself. Books were only one type of receptacle where we store a lot of things we were afraid we might forget. There is nothing magical in them at all. The magic is only in what books say, how they stitched the patches of the universe together into one garment for us. Of course, you couldn't know this. Of course, you still can't understand what I mean when I say all this. You are intuitively right. That's what counts. Three things are missing. Number one, you know why books such as these are so important? Because they have quality. And what does the word quality mean? To me, it means texture. This book has pores. It has features. This book can go under the microscope. You'd find life under the glass, streaming past in infinite profusion. The more pores, the more truthfully recorded retail details of life per square you can get on a sheet of paper. The more literary you are, that's my definition anyway. Telling detail, fresh detail. The good writers touch life often. Only if the second and third necessary thing could be given us. Number one, as I said, quality of information. Number two, leisure to digest it. And number three, the right to carry out actions based on what we learn from the interaction of the first two. And this is uh, my version or my reading of pages 82, 83, and 84 of Fahrenheit. 451.